Okay, so now on to the next Skip the Line reaction, man. And this one is for Frank Warner. And the message on this one is that it's for the squad. Frank likes to do a lot of these requests and just dedicate them to the squad, which is super awesome. So this one's Catherine Joseph. Never heard of this artist ever. This is the first time we're listening to it. And the song is called The Bird. So super intrigued. Frank, once again, thank you so much for all the support as usual, all of the time. I appreciate that. Thank you. Let's uh, rock and roll. Let's go. <laughs> I'm actually struggling to hear what she's saying over here. Um, I, I find that the instrumental is overpowering her voice at this point. Uh, I, I kind of feel like it's something to do with a relationship. Um, and it's almost like a bird that's trying to fly high, but it's just, I, I don't know. I, I'm struggling to actually hear what she's saying. <laughs> That's where I think she's talking about the relationship where she says, you do not know me and you never will, um, essentially. So I kind of feel like it's, it's a relationship that's, that was once there, but it kind of fell apart. And it fell apart because of the fact that they, they never actually took the time to actually understand each other and communicate. So it's like, you don't actually know me. You don't know who I am and you never will, right? <laughs> you have shown me you don't want me that kind of far now um that whole oats that you have shown me kind of feels like it's a relationship it's a relationship to do with possibly a family member why would she say that oats you have shown me i i, I don't know w would it be with a family member or you have shown me that need a party
So almost like the issue is like, unless I try all my life. So it's almost like, okay, like I've been discarded from this uh, relationship, right? I'm now, the, the whole relevancy to the bird is that like, I'm just a, I'm a free bird. I'm, you know, I'm taking flight. But it almost like she almost tries to say like, this is the dead bird. It's like, she's the one that's in, um, insignificant at this point. She's insignificant to the relationship. So she's just going to take flight and go her own way. Unless she tries all of her life, which then kind of insinuates that, it, the, it, it, she'll try her whole life, this will never get better, right? It's almost like this person doesn't want anything to do with her and she doesn't want anything to do with that person. Or maybe she does, I'm not entirely sure, right? But it does sound like a relationship problem over here where it's like the feelings and emotions aren't reciprocated and yet she sort of has to just like, she has to fly off and just be her own person because it's just not going to work. That's what I'm getting from it so far. I must be honest, the production is a bit off for me personally. I find that the instrumentation is too high. I found that the the actual uh, um, um, uh, sort of pronunciation of the words is not coming out as clear. I don't think it's just because maybe it wasn't just mastered well enough. Um, it, it's sounding very muffled. I'm trying very hard to listen to what she's saying, but that's as far as that's as far as I'm I'm, I'm getting right now. So you bring the dead bird to memory, right? So it's almost like it's it's actually better just not to know because you actually bring the you bring a time of my life of where I could not fly. You like you know I was just a dead bird, right? Um, I couldn't take flight because this relationship was holding me back. Dead bird. I enjoyed the video i enjoyed the dancing right so it's, it's you know all her movements and everything and even this her um sort of environment was for, sort of like quite liberating it's almost like she's gone there to find some peace and she's gone there to sort of um um find herself again and take flight as her own individual and so she you know sort of shows that with her movements that she can just be free to do what she does and move however she wants to now um, the instrumentation was pretty cool. I just found it a bit overpowering on the actual um, vocals, and I found that the vocals weren't weren't so clear on the actual track, which I think took a took quite a lot out of the track because it's a beautiful track, but it it uh, it, it takes quite a bit out of the track um, when like one thing's overpowering to the other and you can't quite hear it properly, and you know you're not really you're not really getting the track. So uh, I don't know. I mean, how how big Oh, okay, so still a very young artist. I mean, I, I, this is 1,200 subscribers. Look, she definitely deserves more. I'd like to listen to something else, personally. Uh, I, I think that would be a um, um, something I, I would like to do um, at a later date. Anyway, I love you all. Please stay safe, please stay healthy. I'll catch you in the next one.